Hello, I'm Aaron Marino from Alpha M Image Consulting. Let's build a sexy ass chest. Ow. <clears throat> Oops. So as some of you may or may not know, this year I decided I was going to take much better care of myself. I was going to cut down on drinking, I was going to eat very healthy, I was going to do my cardio, and I was going to hit the weights. Well, this week I just got done doing a workout and I went into the locker room and took my shirt off and for the first time I really felt in three months that I was making significant progress. What, doesn't everybody take shirtless pictures of themselves in the locker room? I had to capture the moment and the lighting was perfect. So as a result of my self-absorbed photo shoot, I decided that I was going to let you guys in on my chest building secrets. So today we're going to hit the gym. We're talking muscle, baby. Now aside from nice abs and big guns, no body part gets as much attention or envy as a well-developed and defined chest. But if you're one of those guys who have been working out for a while and just aren't satisfied with the shape and development of your chest, Sit back, watch, and listen, because I'm going to try and enlighten you on how you could do things a little bit different to get better results. But first, let's talk about how you build muscle. Working out and lifting weights essentially breaks down muscle fibers and produces lactic acid. Essentially, you're damaging the muscle when you lift weights. So after you've broken down the tissue, you eat protein. This protein contains amino acids. These amino acids go into your muscle and actually repair and rebuild the damaged tissue. When it repairs itself, it's now a little bigger, a little stronger. So if you're working out and nothing really seems to be happening, there are a few things that could be going wrong. Number one, you might not be actually tearing down the muscle fiber. You need to shock your muscle. So if you go in each week on the same day and do the exact same workout, your body gets used to it. Your body doesn't want to be damaged. It wants to protect itself at all times. So if you do the same workout day in and day out, your body's going to adapt and your body isn't going to actually respond by breaking down the muscle tissue. Think of it like this. Your muscle's saying, it's Tuesday. Johnny's coming in, he's going to start off with three sets of 135 bench press, then he's going to go into pec deck, and then I can sit this one out. So what you have to do is go in and shock your muscle and smack that muscle and be like, muscle, guess what? You think I'm doing bench press 135? I'm not. I'm starting out with dumbbell flies, and then I'm going to go to pec deck, and then I'm going to do cables, then maybe push-ups, and I might even get around to bench press at the end. You're not used to that. Let me tell you, you are going to be sore as hell because your body is not used to that, and you've just changed things up. The second reason you might not be seeing results is you're not giving your body enough food or enough fuel. You need to eat. If you want to grow bigger muscles, you need to give it the nutrients in order to do so and repair itself. So you could be working out like crazy, shocking your muscles all day long, but if you go home and you eat lettuce, guess what? No big chest for you. And the third reason, you work out too often and don't give enough rest. If you're working out a body part more than once a week, chances are you're overtraining it and you're actually doing yourself more damage than good. Did you hear that? Once a week. Don't do chest two times, three times. Once a week. You got to give it time to rest, rebuild itself stronger and bigger. So on that note, let's go over the five key exercises that I do every week. Now, I don't do it the same order every week. I don't do the same weight every week. I don't do the same reps every week, but these exercises are my staples. Let's get started. Number one, if I had one exercise, if I could only do one exercise for my chest, what would it be? It would be dumbbell flies. Elbow slightly bent, really deep stretch and up. Deep stretch and up. Number two, standing cable flies. Cables. Number three, dips. Elbows out, not back, out. 
Number four, pack deck. Together. Don't let your elbows drop. You'll hurt your shoulders. Elbows up. Just like that. And number five, good old fashioned push ups. Now typically, I rotate those five exercises each chest workout. Now, like I said, I don't do them the same order. I might start with dumbbell flies today, but next week I might do that third in the exercise rotation. If I start with it today, I'm going to be real strong and able to go a little bit heavier. If I do it next week and it's the third exercise, I probably won't be as strong, so it's great to rotate. Now, how many sets and reps? Typically, because I'm not doing 20 exercises, I'm doing typically four, five, six exercises. I'll do four sets, ranging from eight to 12 reps per set. Now you're saying to yourself, Aaron, where's the bench press? Where's the incline bench press? Where's the decline bench press? And that's my big secret. I don't do any of those exercises. Now, on occasion, I will do a flat bench press, but typically I'm supersetting something else with it, like a dumbbell fly and a bench press like this. 12, set them down, and go right into a bench press. Try that next chest workout. Do three sets of that. Start with dumbbell flies, drop them, put on some weight for the bench press and start lifting. Now, if you're used to bench pressing and starting with bench pressing, you're big and strong and tough, and you do that, you're going to be like, oh my god, Aaron, you are a jerk because I can't lift 90 pounds. <laughs> it's tough. But bench press, incline, decline, the movements just aren't worth it to me. The chance of injuring yourself because you're trying to go too heavy is very high. The results that you get, the actual tearing of the muscle from these exercises, very low. What I found in working out, lifting weights, bodybuilding is the exercises that really cause you to stretch are going to cause you to tear more. The more tearing, the more building, the bigger your chest. And remember, it's not how strong you are, it's how strong you look. And there you have it, my secrets to building a massively sexy chest. Now some of you may not appreciate this video and you don't see the benefit to having a massive or intimidating chest. But if I had a dollar for every time I used my chest to intimidate and strike the fear of God into people who are hating on me or my cats, I would be a very rich man. Because there's no need to use these when you've got these. So next time somebody insults you, your significant other, or one of your cats, you'll be ready. Your cat has a stupid haircut. <laughs> Kitty kitty. Shroom. What'd you say about my cat? <laughs> and you've just defended your cat's honor and they ran off because nobody, I mean nobody, is gonna wanna mess with you because of your massive chest. Or maybe it's the fact that you've torn your shirt off in public and nobody wants to mess with crazy. <laughs> you crazy. All right, so Jack emailed me. He told me who the three winners of the Thread Tradition shirts were. And uh, the winners are, I'm going to butcher your names, I'm sorry in advance, Brett Glirbas, G-L-I-R-B-A-S. Congratulations. Milo Rodriguez. Got that one. And Nick McAlife. M-C-A-U-L-I-F-F-E. If this is you or these are you, congratulations. I'm sure Jack will be in touch. Jack also sent me an email and he wanted me to read you guys a letter because I told him I didn't know how to edit a video of him into this video because I'm not technologically advanced like that. So I'm going to read Jack's letter now. 
All right, so Jack wants me to read this letter that he wrote, and it is really long, and this video is probably already 12 minutes, so let's paraphrase. Hey guys, it's Jack, the guy that Aaron spoke about. Thank you so much for coming to my site. I love you all. You guys are all awesome. 350 people sent me emails, not me, but Jack emails. Three of you won. I'm going to read all 350 names now. Just kidding. Ha ha. That Jack was actually joking. <laughs> Jack's funny. Um, he'd like to say thanks for all the people that he actually met and correspond with, like the guy who loves Raymond Noodles in Texas, sixth grade teacher who has marker fights with students, the Irish rapper buddy, the fragrant... Jack, this is my channel, bitch. <laughs> All right, one more thing, Thread Tradition, today only, go there, and if you enter in the code word, tax day, give, you get $40 off the cost of a shirt. Go there, buy a shirt, it's only good for another, like, 10 hours. Tax day, give, go get a shirt. Bye-bye.